Hello guys, what up? Welcome back to my channel. So today we will continue to talk about Shane and Timu. But before that, I want to have a quick story of my shopping history. So I started sh shopping online like long time ago, um, before the year 2007 or 8, I think. Um, I bought like gadget from Taobao at that time. And you know, after that, I was using uh, JD a lot. So I trusted JD because uh, they could provide authentic um, products and invoices. So I was, I thought at the beginning, I thought the mother company of Timu, uh, which is Pinduoduo, uh, I, like a nuisance. I, I hated it. Their promotional skills, like their, you know, marketing techniques was pretty much annoying. But now I start to use uh, Pinduoduo as well because, you know, their price is really cheap. So that's the main reason, you know. Um, okay. 好,我们先来听第一部分啊。So far, the pair have made only small inroads into America's e-commerce market. Timu and Xi'an both have shares of about 1%, according to Bernstein. Amazon has 38%. Even so, the local giant is taking them seriously. In December, Amazon said it would cut merchants' fees for clothing priced under $15, probably in response to the twin threat. In September, it rolled out an end-to-end -end supply chain service in which it picks up goods from merchants' factories and ships them to customers, mirroring what its Chinese rivals do. OK, so far the pair have made only small inroads into America's e-commerce market. 到目前为止的话呢,这个 uh, the pair 这对双雄吧, Shane 还有这个 Timu, actually, uh, 实际上呢, Shane 是来自中国的这个头条系的啊,今日头条也是那个TikTok他们一家的, okay? uh, 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 have made only small inroads into America's e-commerce market, 对于美国的这种电子商务的这个市场的话呢, uh, 这对兄弟吧, uh, 他们只是那个, 啊,做出了很小的这个入侵啊,就他们的市场占有率呢,市场占有率呢并不高,啊,入侵呢是inroad,inroad侵略,okay,Timu uh, and Shane both have shares of about 1%,那么他们各自的话呢,Timu还有Shane的话呢,只有这个大概1%的市场占有率啊,就是其实如果去侵占美国的零售市场呢,是it's very challenging,是非常困难的啊,很多人说想复制这个中国的抖音 直播带货的这个模式到美国啊，其实呢，这个非常艰难啊，因为你看啊，Tim还有Shane花了几十亿美金啊，每年这个做营销。那么到现在的话呢，市场呢也不过是百分之一，one percent微乎其微啊，微
或模仿啊，我们知道镜镜子嘛，镜像嘛，模拟他的这个中国对手这个操作的方式。好 ，OK， so let's move on to the next part. But Amazon is unlikely to be hurt first or most. Clothing and accessories account for only 16 percent of its sales, according to eMarketer, a research firm. So Shein is probably a bigger threat to fast fashion labels such as Forever 21. And for Timu, the absence of a local logistics network will make it difficult to compete with Amazon when it comes to goods customers want quickly, such as dishwasher tablets. It is probably a bigger threat to eBay or Etsy. Okay, but Amazon is unlikely to be hurt first or most. 但是呢，亚马逊呢，不太可能呢，就是，呃，会被那个伤害啊，就是第一个被伤害，或者是呢，伤害的最大。Clothing and accessories account for only sixteen percent of its sales. 呃，对亚马逊来说的话呢，服装和这个小的配饰啊，那么只是占比的话呢，在它销售的占比只有百分之十六。According to eMarketer, 一个电子商务的市场那个报告的一个一个调研的公司啊，市场调研的一个公司 research firm. So Shein is probably a bigger threat to fast fashion labels such as Forever Twenty One. 所以说呢 ，Shein 呢有可能呢是一个更大的一个威胁呢，对一些快消品啊，快消的这种时尚时尚品的一些品牌 label 的是品牌，比如说呢 Forever Twenty One. 啊，这个品牌呢是一个更大的威胁。And for Timu 啊，对于这个 Timu 来说 ，the the absence of local logistics network， 因为缺少这个叫呃本地的 local 物流网络，啊、uh, ，will make it difficult to compete with Amazon， 就是让他呢很难去跟亚马逊竞争啊。什么时候呢 ？When it comes to goods customers want quickly， such as dishwasher tablets， 嗯，当关于这个。就是消费者呢想要的，马上就要的一些产品啊，比如说一个啊洗碗片这样的产品，消费者呢就很急需的产品，没法呢从中国呢给他发货啊。It's probably a bigger threat to eBay or Etsy. 有可能呢是一个更大的威胁，去威胁到这个 eBay 还有这个 Etsy 这两家公司。Okay, next part. That may eventually change. Both firms have bought warehouse space in America and struck partnerships with local logistics firms. Shein is reportedly poaching supply chain specialists from Amazon. Timu may also start to sell dearer goods, such as smartphones, a shift its parent pulled off in China. That would put it into more direct competition with Amazon and the similarly mighty Walmart. Okay. Uh, that may eventually change. Uh, 那样的情况呢，有可能最终会改变。Both firms have bought warehouse space in America and struck partnerships with local logistic firms. 啊、uh, ，这两家公司的话呢，都买了啊、uh, 叫仓库啊，在美国啊。然后呢，他们开始跟那个本地的物流公司合作啊 ，struck partnership， 啊、uh, ，就是建立伙伴关系。Shane is reportedly poaching supply chain specialists from Amazon. 那么 ，Shein 这家公司的话呢，被报告呢是在啊、呃、挖这个美国亚马逊公司的这个叫供应链的专家的墙角啊，他们去啊、呃、挖了一些墙角啊。Timu may also start to sell dearer goods. 那么 ，Timu 的话呢，有可能会去卖更贵的这个产品 ，dearer 是更贵的商品 ，such as smartphones， 比如说智能手机。A shift is parent pulled out in China. Pulled off in China. 那么这个转变的话呢，是他的 parent 就是拼多多呢，在中国、啊、做出的这这样的一个转变。Put off 呢指的是这个转变呢，呃，尽管面临着挑战，但是还是执行了啊。OK， 啊、呃，拼多多呢是以前是以卖这个便宜的商品嘛，然后呢后来就是有这个什么百亿补贴啊，卖所谓的正品啊，卖卖正品啊。OK， 后来卖正品。That would put put it into more direct competition with Amazon and the similar similar l y mighty Walmart. OK。那么那样的话呢，有可能呢会，啊、呃，让让他的话呢更加直接的面对亚马逊的竞争，然后呢，呃，同样的是什么呢？是这个强大的沃尔玛。OK， 好 ，Next part。Plenty could still go wrong for the two. Each must compete both with American incumbents and with each other. 
TikTok Shop, a marketplace run by the social media firm that launched in America in September last year, may also get in their way. Geopolitics may hurt them too. A committee of American senators is probing their alleged links to forced labour. Both firms deny any such connections. Analysis by Morgan Stanley, another bank, suggests that Americans' willingness to shop at Timu may already be waning, perhaps as the novelty has worn off. Okay, plenty could still go wrong for the two. Okay, 对于这两家公司的话呢，有很多的东西呢可能会啊、uh, 出错。啊、uh, ，each must compete with,、uh, both with American incumbents and with each other. 那么每家公司的话都需要跟美国的现在的这些。呃，现存的公司竞争啊 ，incumbent 指的是美国现在的公司啊，比如说沃尔玛、亚马逊 ，and with each other， 给、okay, 他们之间的，他们相互之间也要竞争。TikTok shop 啊，我们知道那个 TikTok 的商店啊 ，a marketplace run by the social media firm， 给、okay, 那么这是一个社交媒体网络运营的一个市场。The launch in America in September last year. 在美国呢，是这个去年九月份呢推出来的。May also get in their way， 有可能成为他们路上的这个绊脚石。啊，但是呢 ，Shin 和这个 TikTok Shop 其实是一家的啊，其实是一家，虽然形式不一样。OK，Geopolitics、okay. may also hurt them too。啊，这个叫地域、地域、地域政治呢，有可能会伤害他们啊，也会伤害他们。A committee of American senators。嗯，是一个美国国会议员组成的一个委员会呢 ，is probing their alleged links to forced labor， 正在调查他们呢所谓的这个和强迫劳动有关的这些声声明啊或声称吧 ，OK 或指责。Both firms deny such connections。两家公司呢都否定了这样的一些关联。Analysis by Morgan Stanley, another bank, suggests that Americans' willingness to shop at Timu may also be winning, perhaps. As the novelty has worn off, analysis by Morgan Stanley 就是那个 Morgan Stanley 呢，这个银行的分析嘛，它是另外一家银行。他建议说，呃呃，美国人的这个意愿啊，来去这个 Timu 在 Timu 上购物的意愿 ，may also be winning。那么有可能在消减，在减少 ，winning 是减少。啊、uh, ，perhaps as the novelty has worn off， 啊、uh, ，因为有可能的话呢，是这个新鲜感呢在减少。啊，新鲜感呢已经那个，啊，在在缺缺少新鲜感了，已经哈。Novelty 指的是新奇事物或新鲜感。Okay, the last paragraph and the last part. That said, Mark Schmulik of Bernstein argues that increasing market share from zero to one percent is more difficult for new e-commerce firms than raising it from one percent to five percent. Getting consumers to first take notice is tricky. Once a brand is familiar, it is easier to sell customers more things and more expensive ones too. Timu and Shein may have already done the hardest part of making it in America. 好，最后一部分呢是那个相对乐观的这个部分啊。OK， 啊、呃，尽管那么说啊 ，Mark， 啊、uh, ，Shimlik 啊、uh, ，of Bernstein， 啊、uh, ，Bernstein。OK， 啊、uh, ，Mark 这个人他是那个 Bernstein 公司的 Mark， 他说了哈。Uh, increasing market share from zero from zero to one percent is more difficult for new e-commerce firms than raising it from one to two five one to two one to five percent. Okay. Ah,、uh, 他说呢，这个增加市场的份额呢，从一啊，从百分之一啊 ，OK， 从零到百分之一呢是更加困难的。相比一个新的公司呢，从一从百分之一呢涨到百分之五啊，就是 getting customers to first to first take notice is tricky. 呃，第一步的话呢，让顾客呢去关注呢是非常的这个比较困难的哈，或者是有难度的 tricky 啊。Once a brand is familiar， 一旦呢一个品牌呢是熟悉了 ，it is easier to sell customers more things。那么去卖给顾客更更多东西的话呢，就更加简单了。And more expensive ones too， 卖更贵的东西也是一样。Tim and Shane may have already done the hardest part of making it in America。那么 ，Tim 和 Shin 两家公司的话呢，有可能在，呃，在那个占有美国市场方面呢，已经做出，已经做做完了这个最难的一部分啊。OK， 好，我们现在呢，把录音整体再听一遍。So far, the pair have made only small inroads into America's e-commerce market. 
Timu and Shein both have shares of about 1%, according to Bernstein. Amazon has 38%. Even so, the local giant is taking them seriously. In December, Amazon said it would cut merchants' fees for clothing priced under $15, probably in response to the twin threat. In September, it rolled out an end to end supply chain service in which it picks up goods from merchants' factories and ships them to customers, mirroring what its Chinese rivals do. But Amazon is unlikely to be hurt first or most. Clothing and accessories account for only 16% of its sales, according to eMarketer, a research firm. So Shein is probably a bigger threat to fast fashion labels such as Forever 21. And for Timu, the absence of a local logistics network will make it difficult to compete with Amazon when it comes to goods customers want quickly, such as dishwasher tablets. It is probably a bigger threat to eBay or Etsy. That may eventually change. Both firms have bought warehouse space in America and struck partnerships with the local logistics firms. Shein is reportedly poaching supply chain specialists from Amazon. Timu may also start to sell dearer goods, such as smartphones, a shift its parent pulled off in China. That would put it into more direct competition with Amazon and the similarly mighty Walmart. Plenty could still go wrong for the two. Each must compete both with American incumbents and with each other. TikTok Shop, a marketplace run by the social media firm that launched in America in September last year, may also get in their way. Geopolitics may hurt them too. A committee of American senators is probing their alleged links to forced labor. Both firms deny any such connections. Analysis by Morgan Stanley, another bank, suggests that Americans' willingness to shop at Timu may already be waning, perhaps as the novelty has worn off. That said, Mark Schmulik of Bernstein argues that increasing market share from 0 to 1% is more difficult for new e commerce firms than raising it from 1% to 5%. Getting consumers to first take notice is tricky. Once a brand is familiar, it is easier to sell customers more things and more expensive ones too. Timu and Shein may have already done the hardest part of making it in America. Thanks for watching, guys.、Uh, look forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye bye.